Welcome back to Best Car Fixes 2013 Chevy Equinox. Computer is bad. Uh, those computer you cannot put a used one. If a brand new one you can clone and write it back, it's a clonable too. Uh, if you put a remanufacturer, it may work, but you may need to. Uh, this is a new one, right? You need the box. Don't put a used one because the used one may not work. The box. No, just to show the part number. Because this is a part number. Okay. Connected. Let's see. We have a code here. And I like about it is that it comes with the colors. So you're not going to mess it up. So this one blue. Blue have to come here. Be sure that to put it good and push while you while you while you push the lock. Push it down a little bit and help it. Don't just try to push it down, you know, like push and then go. Be sure that the lock come good. This one here, like uh, they don't. If, if you try to put a used one, you will be able to program it, everything, but you cannot rewrite the security. If there is other tools that can um, delete the security or do anything, that's a different story. But putting a used one, it may not work. So now the battery fully. Okay, let me put the battery terminal, and then put your charger. Hmm? Okay, let me put it down. When you when you tie the battery terminal, be sure don't touch the the, the battery the, the ground there with the with the computer because if you touch it, you may fry it. Okay. Now put your charger at least to maintain the battery. And then the next step is if you if you have a subscription, okay. If not. First, you need to get uh, your Wi-Fi ready. I use my phone to do my Wi-Fi, so let me try to put my hotspot on so I can get my Wi-Fi. Stay with us. Okay, we are here now uh, for that Chevy uh, 2013 Equinox uh, Acadia. All those cars, and uh, we say that this car here, you cannot put a used radio and program it. And also, you cannot put a used computer unless if there is a way of uh, delete it, delete the security. But uh, other than that, it's not possible for a used body control module. So now let's go here slowly and uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to add a VIN. You see, add a VIN here. Be sure you have a good internet. Yes, my internet is not bad now. Okay, you see here, Tech Line Connect. Click on it. If you don't have Tech Line Connect, you have to download it. If it doesn't work again, unlock this one. That's why they did a change and it, nothing is working. So right now I'm trying to communicate with the car. Uh, the VIN number is gonna be, this car is gonna be new. So I need to get the VIN number with me. I will write down the VIN number here, then connect it to the car. It's better. Sometimes you connect it to the car and write down the VIN number. But if you put a used computer for older car, you have to do that. It's better. So let me take a picture of the VIN number and I come. If you are not sure, first of all, put the VIN number just to be sure. If the VIN number is by this side, you can put it. If it's not, try just to put it this way and then connect to the vehicle. And you see 2013 Chevrolet Equinox. Now, the computer will put this one here and you're going to connect it correctly and then you're going to wait here he asks you again to select the car but you already have the car i believe if it's not okay i don't believe uh, okay let me see here if i can have select vehicle i already did the vehicle i don't know why he doesn't want to take it chevrolet 20 13 I don't know why he gave me to this one again 2013 Econax Chevrolet here 
MP complete then Econax there will be no VIN number but I will try to put the VIN number again ignition is on reading the car if I don't have it I gotta try to put the VIN number again if it's not I will re-put the VIN number and try it again reading the car your computer stay quiet I don't know why what do you think about it? I'm not sure. I don't know. But we're gonna wait. Let me turn the ignition on and off again. Put the internet here. I don't know why it's freezing, but it's okay. We're gonna wait. It's crazy. You say tech line is not responding. Close. I'm gonna start all over. I'm gonna start again. No, I just wanna view. Add a win like before. Add a win. He said it's already running. So okay, we're gonna say okay. So why he says he's not responding? Now validate. Do you have that when not connected first? Let me see what it's gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna try to connect it. Now he may ask me the VIN number, I will put the VIN number if that's the case. see what happened is validating all the files and you know validating the files right now I don't have the VIN number it's okay I want to write the VIN number here I want to see if I have that VIN number already here if I don't have it I will look for it let me see I wrote it one time. Hopefully, it's gonna be there. If it's not, the VIN number ending with what number? 664. It's not accepted here yet. So, I gotta go to Chevrolet 2013. This will not help. I supposed to get a space to put it if I don't put it from the beginning maybe reading the car if there is no way to read it maybe he put me back or he say no communication is binging the car now ting 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 okay here is this but it's still looking for the VIN number so I gotta go here I gotta put the VIN number here is better okay so let me put the VIN number again I believe you just have to put the VIN number and just select OK. Don't, don't You don't need to go and put the year model. Just put the VIN number correctly, 2013. And you just now go here. That's the information. Go to SPS. You're already inside the, the car information center. 
and uh, we're gonna go to the next don't worry about what's going on yeah. so now i'm trying to validate now he's getting the software for us the car already communication is good Okay, now everything will look okay. So now VIN number is here, Chevrolet. So go by the right side, don't do program. Go to reprogram and replace because it's different and then click next. He give you all the specifications, Java 10, SPS version, all these three things that what you need. Here you're gonna go to engine control module. You see here, engine control module, let me go down. Transmission have a different computer. So click next. Now I'm trying to communicate with the car. Do my best. Say proceed because he asked you. Now it will go next. Getting the tool lock, reading the vehicle data. You gotta hear ting 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 in the car. It being the car that means something is here, the car is live. And from there, I will get the software validated, get the programming data. As soon as you fix, you, you pull out, you put this one here. You see also, there is a... If you have a problem in this particular car, what is that? New calibration with the enhancement DTCP015A. Also, calibration, operation, engine oil, live monitor more accurately identifying the required cell. Okay. So if you have those problems, there's a, and then here, you have to start programming. Now you may have another ting ting, or you may download the software first from the server. See now it's coming, that's the silver. As soon as we get it from the silver, the rest is not a problem. The silver download, the static download to the laptop and then from there maybe it go directly to the system. That take less than a, a 30 second. Now here, you're gonna hear ting ting and now you have to start writing. One time, two time, three time, then it will write. Any problem we are not able to write, connecting to the vehicle, yes. Writing the TCU, you're going to start, you will see here, a blue line. If you do it two times, that means there is a problem with communication. But right now, you see, the blue line is start coming. That's the good news. Please subscribe, share, and like. And if you have any problem, feel free to ask. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. After this one, the car could start, or you have to do another 10 minute security relay. Your internet has to be good, computer has to be well connected, information, your software is good, and now it's a 13 minute, 13 minute, but it may take less than that. This all about uh, GM, Cadillac, uh, Chevrolet. Oldsmobile, anything that you, you name it. But we already learned that if you have a problem with code, the code that I show you, or the, the oil maintenance replacement timing, please try to update your computer to the latest software. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. We come back. Uh, when this finish, you're done with it, you may have to do a parameter uh, if the car starts, sometimes you need a um, relay in the crankshaft sensor, sometimes not. But this car have a short uh, while they're putting the fuel pump in the car. We're going to look at it and see what's going to happen. Thank you. That is the interface that I use it. Any J2534, it work. that one can work for Toyota, Honda, software Toyota, software, and so on. Please subscribe, share, and like.